Hello to all my fellow Diviers. In this video, I'd like to do a quick demonstration of Divi's new XML export feature that may be useful for folks who need to pull content from Divi and transfer it to another web or mobile application. Start by going to your content interface, and for this demonstration, I'm going to go to my In Progress tab and filter my content list down to view just my blog calendar. From here, I'm going to filter by content status to narrow the list down to the blog posts that are approved and ready for publishing. Before we export these posts, let's make sure that we have the right data columns that we want to include in the XML export. For this blog post example, let's say that we want to include keywords, which will be needed for my blog post tags, the summary description field, which will be needed for our blog post excerpt, and topics and categories, which is needed to match our blog post categories. When exporting, any data columns that aren't included in this content list will not be exported, so you might want to set this column layout as your default view. I also want to point out one other important aspect. Although this content list doesn't allow you to see the full content you've created for each blog post, the full content field will be included in the XML export. I'll show you that in a minute. When you're satisfied with your content list and data columns, click the XML export icon in the upper right. Your XML file will be downloaded and you can save it wherever you need. To preview your XML file, click the file menu in your browser and find your file. As you can see, all of your data is included in the export, including the raw HTML content for each blog post. This file can then be used to import content into a third-party application. For more tips, tricks, and Divi demonstrations, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and happy Divvying!